Hello and welcome back to episode 31 of our Forest Challenge. We left the last episode by filling this up, didn't we, with our sugar beet from our field just here. Uh, we're gonna. The first thing we're going to go and do is empty that. However, I'll just show you. I said at the end of the last episode I was going to get these fields ready. So, um, this one, which again is just going to have sugar beet going to it, is being cultivated. I've cultivated this one here and just through the trees there you can see the our new field that we haven't planted anything in yet we've now lined that so three fields ready to go i also said we were going to buy a new cedar because i think we, we passed this one aren't we so we'll get rid of that and we'll buy new cedar um we may depend on what cedar we get and i think there's no may about it i think we pretty much are gonna buy a new um, tractor as well because we just we're gonna need that horsepower boost, I think. Let's just uh, see how many we've got. So we've got just under sixteen thousand, really. Sixteen thousand liters. It's not bad. To be honest, we probably would have got sixteen thousand liters. There was um, some that were left in the ground that had the tops removed, but uh, the actual sugar beet was still in the ground, and we just we ploughed over it. So we probably would have got 16,000 to be honest. We've got an absolute load of silage, like 110,000 litres of silage to um, to stick through here as well. Which we need to do at some point. We also have turned it off rather than... Are we gone now? Now we're gone. So this should now be running. It is... Now I can turn it off because we're not going to need... Well, depending on if we buy a new tractor or not, we're not going to need it. Our grass is ready as well. That's... Um, is it every three episodes? I'm sure it's every three episodes, every three months. Our grass is ready, so we're going to have to get that done. But like I said, we've got so much silage in there. We need to get rid. Right, store. So, I've briefly seen that in used machinery. 46% off. You can get it up to 225 horsepower. I just don't know. I mean, well, let's just have a look. So it's 74,000 as is. Um, 175, 190, 210. 225 is at the max. So 200, 104 grand for something, for a new Holland that has 225 horsepower. That just seems like an absolute no-brainer. We'll keep all the tyres as is. We will put... Do we need a front three-point linkage on or not? Or are we better off... Yeah, we're better off with the three-point, aren't we? We don't need a front loader on it. Um, I think we're going to go with that. 109 grand. That is an absolute bargain. We'll go and get our toolbox. Do you know what? I can't even remember how to use this. There's nothing there. I can't remember where the trigger is. There we go. Right, so let's repair it to 2,900. Bargain. Um, why well, won't let you do the paint? It normally comes... Ah, that's why, because we're not in the store. Are we? We're just using our repair, our repair box, that's why. Right, I'm going to pull this forward. So, I mean, this is by far and away something that by episode, what we on, 30, 31 days ago? Didn't think we would have something like this. Not as new as this, anyway. Um, right, there is some cedars that we haven't used. That was in the premium expansion. I mean, that one straight away looks good. But I'm pretty sure we've used this for I mean that's the one to come back to though uh, right premium expansion so these that's the one I think we got in Zalanka isn't it um, we'll come back to Zalanka in a minute I'll, I'll, we'll talk about Zalanka shortly um, right 111 grand 
220 horsepower, that looks all right. Will that, though, be enough horsepower to get us up? If that takes 200 horsepower, are we going to get up the uh, the hills with that? I'm not quite sure. 9.1 metres. Ah, oh, that's a drill. I've never seen that before. What's that off? That must be a mod that we've put on. Right. So, that one... That's one that I'm interested in getting, but it doesn't leave us much horsepower. I mean, that doesn't either, really. It only leaves us 25. We'll try this one. 111 grand, 6 metres. Um, you can get 6,000 litres in there. Right, let's... I mean, it looks massive as well, doesn't it? Our tent one if we carry on driving over it like that. Okay, so how much seed and how much fertilizer can we get in it? Let's go for seed first. Um let's get them. Let's get two. I'm hoping. We're going to get another one as well. Get that open. Come on, this is the point where you fill. There we go. It's not actually going to take that much seed, is it? It's going to take just over. Like two and a half thousand, maybe? Yeah. Right. I have no idea how much fertiliser is left in here. Our old um, cedar and fertiliser will just. I'll sell probably off camera to be honest. Right, not much at all. So let's get another two bags of that. I think let's. Um, we got canola out there, didn't we? We're going to put canola in the far field. And then probably sunflowers in this one here. Um, obviously we can't do sunflowers with this. What did I... Have I got a... Ah, it's that plant there. I was going to say, what did I use to plant sunflowers? But I forgot about this. I've got that cedar there, haven't we? Right, we'll get that closed. I mean, there's still loads of room for um, fertiliser, isn't there? I hope this has enough power for this. I mean, if we start struggling here, then it's not going to be a good sign at all, is it? That was literally the steepest part I could get up, and it seemed... Like it was alright. Right, let's get this unfolded. And away we go. Eight mile an hour, don't mind that at all. We'll just see when we come round down to the bottom and see how we get on. That's our sunflower field there. We need another one so that when that one's ready, we're only waiting a couple of months for the next one. And if you're not aware, the reason for that is um, we've got up on the... Where are we at? Over there. So, where you can see them two icons there, we've got a mill. And we're creating... Um, sunflower and canola oil through the mill so that's why we need them crops constantly sort of rotating right 
weren't good so far. It's when we get, when we turn left here and start trying to go up this hill, that's when we're really going to struggle. What we down for four mile an hour? We're going to go lower here because we hit a decent incline here. Right, I'll do this. I'll do that bit. I'll come back for that. Right, it's working all right. I am quite pleased with that to be honest I was thinking with only sort of there's only wriggle room of 5 horsepower wasn't I um, so yeah I was quite worried thinking it wasn't going to be enough and it was a lot of money to invest for something that we didn't have enough horsepower for we were, we were going to have to go and spend the rest of our money weren't we and try to find a tractor with sort of 250 to 300 horsepower I think if it hadn't worked The, with the rest of the money, we're not going to spend it a day. What we uh, what we're going to look at doing, I think, I want a, um, a more modern um, forestry machine. So I haven't chosen which one. I don't know if it's going to be um, I don't know maybe a Thatcher that goes on the front of a, a tractor we've got already or on the rear of it um, or whether we're going to get a self propelled one but something that we can get those trees because we, over there over in the distance there we've got our new bit of land haven't we we need to start clearing that and I can't do it as slowly as what we've done this bit because um, well we don't need to we're going to have the funds to uh, to allow us not to so yeah, any suggestions of what we should get? I mean, they're all mega expensive, aren't they? Sort of, quite typically, 400, 500,000 for any of the self propelled uh, forestry machines, so we'll see. I mean, we do make quite a lot of money, even just on a daily basis, so it shouldn't take too long. To get back up. But I mean, I hadn't when I when I logged on, I hadn't intended to buy the um, to buy this tractor. I'll probably this setup in general. I didn't intend to spend as much money as we did on a cedar, but uh, I think having this new Holland in the in the used machinery was just too good of an opportunity to miss out on, really, wasn't it? Right, I am going to carry on doing this. Um, I think what we might do after. I'll finish this. That field behind us will need the planter rather than the cedar. Uh, I might do that next. Or oh, we've got some soybeans to harvest up at the top there, so we might get that done. But either way, we'll come back just as we're finishing this, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. And like I said as well, we need to get that silage moved to generate the funds through the through our BGA. So we need to do a couple of runs of that. But I shall not be long. Didn't take long at all to finish off. It took, it, in fact, it was nowhere near as long as what I thought it was going to be. Um, so that's that done. The bit of white you can see is just on the other field. It was just where the um, the spreader went over the uh, boundaries. Where on earth am I going to put this? I have absolutely no idea where we're going to put this. I think it might be time to start bringing some of them fences down, you know. I mean, even straight ahead of us, that path straight ahead that leads out into the forest. We could use that, couldn't we? to start parking equipment up. Right, if I park out there, is it going to roll down? I tell you what, we'll leave it. 
we'll leave it attached to the new Holland for now. We're probably not going to need that again. Is that a direct drill? I didn't even look. If that's a direct drill, um, it is a direct drill. Do you know what? I didn't even think when we were buying that. I didn't even think about that. That's going to save us quite a bit of time. The other thing that it comes up with, oh, I need the, I need that now. I'll tell you what, we will, we'll go up and we'll do the um, the harvesting because I'm walking up here anyway. Um, I didn't. We're talking about the direct drill. I was thinking about maybe putting precision farming on. Um, because it just adds that extra element as well, doesn't it? And having something like that, where we're not ploughing the fields up, that'll be like a massive benefit, won't it? I already left the combine ready. It's as if I knew. Right, turn that off. Um, soybeans ready to harvest. I think they've got a bit of a weird colour just because the temperature, I think. Um, and it was snowing, wasn't it, in our last episode? Same here. It's got like that bit of a frosty colour on it, hasn't it? I wonder if we leave it for a couple of hours. It'll go back to normal. I'll tell you what, we'll jump forward maybe till 10 o'clock and we'll see if that changes. Amazingly, I was able to stop it just before 10 o'clock um, because normally I go well over when I put it on 360. Um, yeah, back to normal colour now. Sun's out. Wherever it's meant to be, it's a lovely February morning. I don't even know if it says on... I don't know if the mod says where it's uh, like a fictional place based wherever. I can't remember what the... Um, what the introduction says on mod hub. Right, this soy so this soybean, we haven't got a production for this, have we? It's literally just to sell when it's at its best price. I also I say sell when it's at its best price. We don't have a silo, do we? What we can put this in? I sound surprised. It's like a like I, um, I mentioned in the last episode, it's been a good three or four weeks, probably four weeks to be honest, um, since I did any recording. So there's quite a lot of stuff that I've been forgetting on here. Is this fully fertilised? It is fully fertilised. It's rolled. It's got everything done. We are getting next to nothing off here, are we? We're only going to hit a thousand, just about to hit a thousand litres. And we're probably just under halfway around. So we ain't getting much off here at all. A little bit of sunflowers creeping over there. I must have forgot. There must have been a bit of um, field there that we missed with the, the cedar for the soybean. And that's how we've ended up. With some sunflowers in there. Right, we're gonna time lapse the rest of this. Um, I don't think we'll get off. I'm not. I, we're gonna have to put it in the trailer, which means we're not gonna be able to do. Oh, this is so rubbish. I need a silo donor. Because if I use the trailer, it means I'm not gonna be able to move as much of the silage because I would have to use the forage wagon and it's really small yeah I don't think I'm going to get all of this in the combine if I do it and stay in the combine for a bit anyway we'll get a time lapse on we'll see where we're at and that shall not be long
all there and it is all gonna fit and stay in the combined so we'll be at a, I mean I don't even know when the best price is for soybean we'll have to have a look I haven't looked yet I mean it'd be amazing if it was February right that's us all done we'll get that switched off let's have a look um, soybean so we are at one eleven hundred now June are we gonna need we've got another three full months are we gonna need the combine before then um potatoes no what's in that one there that's canola isn't it that's canola in there I can't remember when I planted them. Oh, how long it takes. I think, is canola about six months? I have got, I have got a screenshot on my phone that I always keep, but I'm not gonna go through it now. It tells you how long each crop type takes. I might just get away with being able to do that. We'll go and put this away. And then with any luck, we're not gonna need it again for another three months and the price will peak. Right, I'm gonna try to close it. Yeah, I didn't think we could. When we've got crop in it, I didn't think we could close close the uh, lid on it. Right, let's get that dropped off. Let's get that dropped off. <laughs> Is there anywhere where we could put this under cover? Could we maybe get it where the Bobcat is now. I think we it's gonna fit, isn't it? Let's take the bobcat out. I'll come back for that. Get this under here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. Who needs a silo? Eh? We are going to have to have a look for one. I mean, I was going to say space is an issue. But I mean, we've got all of that space over there. But I don't really want to start put, putting buildings over there. I want that purely for uh, fields. But we'll see. Right, what else have we got? So we are just past 11 o'clock. How are we doing for wood? We're missing... So we need to put wood through there. We will, no doubt, need to put wood through this one as well because this one goes down so quickly. Is it missing product as well? Yep, missing product. All of this needs to go into that production there, which then feeds our honey production here. I mean, we've got loads. If you look at it, needs empty pallets and empty barrels. The empty pallets just fills all the time. We're always at nearly 100,000 litres for that. Empty barrels, however, is going down and isn't filling by the looks of it, so we're gonna have to fix that issue. It's just about getting. We now, our timber, instead of just bringing it from sort of the locality, we've got a little bit still down there, like a tiny bit. We're now gonna have to make a route through, through there and there's a large po uh, portion of that land that isn't ours. So if you look on the map, all this here is what's in front of us, and that's not ours. So creating a road through there, well, we're not going to be able to create a road. We'll have to sort of find what the easiest path is and then drag drag the, um, the timber through it. And this is why, this is part of the reason why as well, I want some different... Um, forestry equipment just to make the whole process a bit quicker obviously the process of dragging it through and finding a good route through won't change but how quickly we'll be able to take the actual um, trees down from through there will yes, right we're not going to do that this uh, not in the this afternoon anyway um, I don't really want to We've just done a load of seeding, so I don't really want to do that. Although I would like to get 
something in there now. And we've got the grass to do as well. Tell you what, while we think about it, let's um, I'm gonna jump in here. And we might as well get a couple of loads of uh Couple of loads of silage taken over at the BJ, what's in there now? Is that a bigger trailer? Only slightly. What we do need is I can't remember where it is. Is it a miscellaneous? We need some fuel. Is it in this one? No. Um where on earth is it? Is it maybe in Something like pallets. Right, it's that one. $150. I might do the grass the rest um, for the afternoon. Let's see. I don't even know how long we've been recording, actually. Right. Full. Let's jump in the dights to move the forage wagon out the way. It's just everywhere so tight, isn't it? We just... We have no space whatsoever. this over here in fact when we're on about what we can do with the afternoon I think seeding this getting the planter out and getting sunflowers in there I think is going to be the job isn't it Okay, right. 110,000 litres of silage. We've just got to move. I mean, this could have been making us money months ago. It's been in there uh, at least three months, hasn't it? I mean, ultimately, we're still going to get the same amount of money from it. We just we could have made some sooner, that's all. And then in the next episode, we'll fill it again, won't we? I say fill it, we won't. It's like, I think the capacity is ridiculous on it. Right, let's get this dropped. Should be God, the sugar beet's already gone. Yep, fifteen thousand liters of it already gone. Is it fifteen thousand eight hundred something like that? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I am going to do what are we normally? Is it about four runs? I think it's about four trailer fulls. I'm gonna get all the silage out of our out of there and bring it over here, and then. I think we'll get hooked up to the planter and then I'll come back once we're about to do this field there. So, I'll not be long. We're back and you can see the sun starting to disappear. It's um, February, it's nearly half three and we're losing all the light. I've pretty much just cracked on. Um, I think, I've seen that a little bit on the right hand side. I think we were uh, we starting to run a little bit long on the video anyway, so what I've done is I've cracked on in this field, I've put sugar beet in the field right in front of us, in the small one, and then I've also, two seconds I'll just get straightened up, our field that we've harvested 
where we took the soybeans out of over there, you'll notice is now a dark brown colour right in the back there. I've put wheat in that. Um, given the fact that we've now got a direct drill, I just thought we might as well get it done. It didn't take too long, really. It's six metre drill as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, it didn't take too long, so there's wheat in there. The idea with that is, is there's possibly not so much another production, because I don't really want to get into um, too many productions, but there's possibly, um, or the possibility, sorry, of getting animals, um, and the wheat gives us obviously food and also the straw as well, because we haven't done any baling yet, have we, on this series, so I think that's sort of the plan with that. We may not even profit from it, from this one particular crop uh, that we've got in now, but yeah, that's the plan. Get the get the grain, get the straw. We'll just have to we're gonna have to build something to be able to keep the the bales, and also we need a we need a silo, don't we? Doesn't matter how long we keep putting it up, though. I think we're going to need it because we just we've got nowhere to put anywhere anything um and that's in general really so i'm gonna have to have a think of how we can sort of see if there's any space up there we can put maybe a couple of sheds i mean for the bales even another one of these would be ideal wouldn't it just trying to find somewhere to put the silo then possibly in that back corner i don't know if there's a bit of space in between them two buildings or them three buildings sorry um we shall find out. I don't really want to be taking any any of our land up that we've already got um, turned into fields, but we shall see. Right, everything other than this field needs rolling, which I will do off camera. I'm going to do as soon as we finish here. Everything else is done. Next episode is going to be the grass. The grass desperately needs doing. There's not going to be any other fields ready apart from maybe potatoes is that going to be close no that's not even going to be ready either which is good because i don't know what we're doing with them yet um so next episode will be grass and depending on how much money we've got we might look at getting the bit of forestry machinery that we were talking about but that's for another one right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one